game with the All-Star Subway Series menu. Order by name or number, and they'll do the rest. As everyone knew they would, this city of Kansas City, one of the great sports cities in America. They love their Chiefs, and they have shown up in a huge way tonight. 125,000 people, the estimated attendance tonight, and not one of them has left because for the first time, the home team is the defending Super Bowl champ, which means they will make the final pick of the first round, which we are rapidly approaching tonight. We have a few picks before we get there. The New Orleans Saints, their pick is in. Then we will have the two Super Bowl teams, the Eagles, who've made one pick already tonight, and then Kansas City will make theirs. The Saints pick is in. Lewis, very quickly, what direction should they be looking? But they need more pass rush on defense, especially on the interior to help a guy, you know, to help out some of their defensive ends. They're getting a little bit older at the position. They got to beef it up on the defensive line. The time of change for New Orleans, obviously, in the last few years. They do bring in Derek Carr to play quarterback for them this year, so they will go in that direction. And I see the commissioner making his way out here. The NFC South, a division really in a state of flux. Let's see what the Saints are doing. Here's the commissioner. With the 29th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select Brian Brzee, defensive tackle, Clemson. Back-to-back well, -back Clemson Tigers, Mel, you just mentioned him. He's been on the radar a long time. Some services ranked him the number one high school player in the country coming out of Damascus, Maryland. Yeah, at Damascus High School, he was rated anywhere between one and three. Grinny, you're right. He was on, also on the basketball team. When he came in in 2020 with Miles Murphy and Trenton Simpson, linebacker, he looked like an out like he was going to be a top 10 pick, top 15 pick at worst. He had a great 2020 season. Six and a half tackles lost. He got sacked. He ended up with four, four and a half sacks that year. Forced to fumble. He was really active along the interior. Really got after 2020, starts out the season. Then the ACL. Then this past year, his sister passes away. Yeah. Uh, he, he has a kidney infection. I mean, and then he looked rejuvenated at the combine. Ran 493 at six, you know, about six five and a half, 300 pounds. He looked like Brian Brzee was back like he was in 2020. So I think they're going to get a kid here who with now, you talk about what he means to that defense. Lou, you mentioned it. Number one need for the Saints, defensive tack. Yeah. They need, and they need pass rush on, on the inside to help out Cam Jordan. They're getting a little old. They're getting a little long in the tooth on the defensive side. They need juice. They don't need him just to be a two-gapper. They don't need him to look, look. Obviously, they need him to stop the run so they can get the third down. But they need this guy to be able to push the pocket on the inside and be disruptive. And as you were saying, hopefully he's healthy now and he's in a good space mentally to where he can really hit the ground running. Because last year, at different times, he looked like a shell of himself. He, did, he looked like somebody who really just needed to get the season over, get the training, and get himself right. You know, to me, it brings a lot of scheme versatility because you can line him up at the one technique, which is right over the, the center. You can line him at the three technique over the guard. So New Orleans can play him anywhere they want to play him as long as they get the 2020 version of him where he's a freshman All-American. It's rare you see a guy that big that can run sub 540, that can move like that. They can unleash that. And now, when you still have Cam drawing from off the edge, this can be a ferocious pass rush. And so two teams remain last year's Super Bowl teams, the Eagles and then the Chiefs will wrap up round one. And Mel, let's take a look at your best of